I bet that no one has ever told you about the Osirian. It is located to the rear of the Temple of Seti I in Abydos, in Egypt. However, what archaeologists don't tell you is that the structure you see extends down some six stories. Its architectural design stylistically is far different from the foundation work and masonry of the Temple of Seti that it sits next to. The Osirian is made entirely of granite blocks that clearly weigh hundreds of tons, whereas the Temple of Seti is made mainly from limestone, with occasional sandstone, all of which weigh a few hundred kilograms. Unlike the Temple of Seti, the walls of the Osirian contain zero hieroglyphics and zero indication of the grid lines for any Egyptian writing. Though subterranean, it had functional doorways with clear hinges where the door used to be as well as indications that the walls were being worked by some sort of machine-type spinning tool that was quickly grinding down the interior and exterior surfaces of the granite blocks already assembled in the walls of the structure. The Osirian clearly predates the Temple of Seti that sits atop it, because the Osirian, a structure built with grandeur, ornate hallways, windows, and doors, now sits in a natural aquifer that is at least tens of thousands of years old, and is filled with water that naturally automatically refills below the sand of the desert, as a part of the natural water table beneath. What this means is that water in the Osirian cannot be functionally drained or controlled, because the moment you pump it all out, it gets refilled by the natural groundwater. This means that whoever built or used it did so before this was the case, before the trajectory of the River Nile changed, and before the water table and water cycle of Egypt changed.